This is part 105 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss jQuery Data Tables plugin. Data Tables is a powerful jQuery plugin. It provides searching, sorting, and pagination out of the box. Let's understand this with an example. On the web page right here, I've got an HTML table, and within the HTML table, we've got T head section, and within the T head section, we've got a table header row. So we've got ID, city, country, and continent. And within the T body section, we've got several data rows. And if you look at each of the data rows, we've got the city ID, city name, the country to which that city belonged to, and the continent. So if we view this HTML in the browser, by default, it will be rendered like a table, as you can see here. Now what we want to do is we want to turn this table into something like this that you can see on the slide. So basically, we want paging. So if you look at this, we've got 21 entries, that is 21 rows. So we've got three rows. And look at the status text. It's saying it is showing 1 to 10 of 21 entries. And I also want bidirectional sorting on every column of the table. So if I click on a column once, the data should be sorted by that column in ascending order. If I click on the column again, the data should be sorted in descending order. So we want that bidirectional sort on every column. And we also want the search functionality. So for example, if we type United Kingdom, then only those entries that have United Kingdom in them should be displayed. And we can also configure how many entries we want to display on the given page. So if we have to implement all these features, just imagine the amount of code and time it takes. With Data Tables plugin, all you need is one line of jQuery code. So let's now see how to turn this table into a table like this using the Data Tables plugin. First of all, this is a jQuery plugin. So on your web page, you require core jQuery as well. So I already have the core jQuery referenced on this page. The next thing that we need is the CSS and JavaScript files of the Data Tables plugin. So to get those, visit datatables.net website. On the home page, you can actually see the links, I mean the CDN links to the Data Tables CSS and JavaScript. So let's copy the CSS link and on our web page, let's include that. So we want a link element. So this is a style sheet. Type equals text slash CSS and href equals the CDN link for the CSS. And similarly, we need the JavaScript file. So script type equals text slash JavaScript and source equals, let's grab the JavaScript CDN link. Okay, so we have the required CSS and JavaScript files. And at the moment, if you look at this HTML table, it does not have an ID. So let's go ahead and give it an ID. Let's call it data table. You can give it any meaningful name you want. And within our jQuery ready function, let's use the jQuery ID selector, find the data table, and on that, call data table function. Let's save the changes, reload this web page, and look at what is going to happen. Look at that, we now have all those features that we have just discussed. So now look at this, I am able to sort by city in both the directions and there is paging. We can search, look at that, the moment I type United Kingdom, I get all those entries which have United Kingdom in them. And look at this, the moment I delete, look at that, the data is updated dynamically. And we can also configure on how many entries we want to see. So 10, 25, 50, 100. So at the moment it's displaying you know, all the 21 uh, entries. But by default, look at this data table. It's occupying the entire width of the web page. And at the moment, it does not have any border. So there are several ways to configure the styles of this data tables. But for the purpose of this demo, now if we want to control its width to, let's say for example, to 600 pixels, what I'm going to do is put this entire table inside a development and specify the properties on that development. So let's include a development on this page. And let's move this closing div to the end of the form. And on this development, let's set the style attribute and specify whatever styles we want. 
So style equals, I'm going to set width to 600 pixels. So let's save the changes. And when we reload, it should now occupy only 600 pixels. And let's also include a border for this one. So I'm going to set that border on the development. So we want a border. Let's set it to one pixel solid black border. Let's save the changes. Reload this page. So we get that border. Now it looks like the search text box is actually sticking to the border. So let's give some padding between those two. So let's use the padding style and I'm going to set that to 3 pixels. So let's save our changes, reload this page, and this is better. All right, so in this video, the data of this table is you know, present on the page itself. Now what if we have our data in the database? In our upcoming videos, we'll see how to work with database data and you know, this data tables plugin. We'll also see how to customize and configure the sorting, search functionality, etc. So we'll discuss that in our upcoming videos. So here we have the steps that we have just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.